So pre-COVID, uh, the 2019-2020 season was a bit uh, disjointed for, for Shelford because um, the original coaching staff left just before Christmas and, uh, and, and I stepped into the head coach's role. Uh, the team was tracking pretty poorly, to be honest. The win rate was 25-30%. You know, um, so there was a lot of work to do just to, to make sure that we stayed in London One North. Um, you know, obviously at that stage we didn't know that COVID was going to hit and the season would be pulled up short. But um, from a massive effort from the boys, um, you know, they really dug in, they really tried to make the best out of the season and they, they turned their win rate around. Uh, they finished with a, with a run of four wins on the bounce before COVID did hit. Um, so it was a really uh, nice way to, to rebuild um, and to, to go into, you know, what was going to be a horrible uh, 2020, 2021 season with some with some positive positive um, aspects rather than you know rather than coming off the back of a of a season where we were struggling. And so coming off that sort of positive end to the 2019-2020 season, how did you sort of prepare for 2020-21? We made the most of of whatever we were allowed to do during 2020-2021, which was obviously a written off season due to COVID. Uh, we we decided as a group that we'd stay in contact. Uh, during lockdown, we, we formed uh, you know, a Facebook group and we had all kinds of fitness challenges. We um, did all kinds of weird and wonderful sort of online uh, song competitions and, and, um, and bake-offs and all, all kinds of stuff just to keep people engaged, um, keep the players you know, motivated to, to look after themselves, keep themselves in good shape. Um, and, and as a result of what we were doing there, that also trickled on into the wider club. Uh, and we managed to get some, some club-wide uh, activities happening as well, which included not just the men's performance squad, but the women and the, and the boys and the girls as well, which was fantastic. And so what do you think that done for the team spirit going into this new season? I think all the work we did during COVID, uh, the way we approached um, the opportunities we had to come together and train, uh, the effort from the players, uh, the effort from the coaches and the club to make sure that we, we kept positive, we kept working, uh, really allowed us to hit the ground running in 2021-22 season. I think the fitness of the players was, was much higher than it was when I took over in 2019. Uh, we had a much better understanding of how we wanted to play rugby because we were able to do some form of training, albeit only touch and non-contact for a lot of um, the time through 2020-2021. Um, so we got a lot of good work done, um, technically, tactically and, and physically, uh, which meant when we came back to a, a pre-season where we were allowed to reintroduce contact into the game and start the league, I think it stood us in really good stead. And so what did pre-season this season look like for Shelford? Uh, pre-season was, was, uh, was slightly different in the sense that we'd been training together all, all the way through sort of May, June, when normally we, we wouldn't. May, June would normally be the time that we, we down tools and, and have a break. But because we'd had so many breaks, we decided that we'd play friendly fixtures May, June. Um, we did uh, much more sort of in-season uh, training style through that period. Um, so come July, we had to have a little bit of a rest before August when we started the, uh, the pre-season friendlies for real um, for the 2021-22 season. So it wasn't your normal pre-season. It was a lot more match focused than normal. Um, but again, it allowed us to keep building on, on all the good work we'd done through the COVID season um, and hit the ground running and get some good early wins in, in this season. And so looking at that first quarter of the season, those first six games, what did those look like? Uh, really positive, really positive. Um, we started off with a bang against Old Habers, had, had a really good win at home, um, played some really good rugby. So it, it showed that the work we'd done worked. Um, and then we backed that up with another, I think it was another f six wins on the bounce. So we had, we had a total of seven wins in that first part of the season before we came, came to our, our first uh, unfortunate loss. And so what happened in that first loss against I just think that we potentially got a little bit ahead of ourselves. Um, so if you look chronologically, we hadn't lost since um, February 2019. Um, and then match-wise, that was, I think it was 14 games on the bounce that we hadn't lost. Uh, we, we went down to Brentwood overconf overconfident. Um, you know, they were sitting a lot lower than us in the league. Uh, we didn't respect the opposition. So uh, we, we learned some lessons from that. And, and to be honest, when, when we started to lose, even myself as a coach, 
was 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 I was struggling to think about you know how do we how do we get back on top here how do we how do we correct this and and it was it was a downward spiral unfortunately um, and Brentwood to their credit took advantage of us being off and put together a really good performance um, but I think it was a loss that had to happen I think we needed that we needed a, a reminder that we're beatable uh, we needed to uh, be reminded that we need to be humble we need to respect the opposition no matter where they're sitting in the league uh, and we need to turn up to every game ready to put on as best as possible performance. And so moving on from that Brentwood game, what sort of lessons did you take from that to put into the next quarter of the season, taking us up to this halfway point? Yeah, I think, um, I think you know, like I, like I said, respecting the opposition is key. Uh, it doesn't matter who they are, where they're sitting in the league, they're in this league and, uh, and if you don't turn up ready to play and you're, and you're arrogant and you're, and you're um, you know, just expecting to walk away with an easy win, you can get beaten by any team in this league. So that, that was a massive lesson that we took away from the Brentwood game. Uh, the other thing too is, is you know, travelling to away away clubs, um, potentially you know, playing on the grass pitches and, and we've got lovely facilities here at Shelford. Uh, we need to again make sure that when we do travel, we're in the right mindset to, to go to whatever venue it might be, uh, deal with whatever conditions that we have to deal with um, and, and play our best rugby. Uh, and not again turn up arrogant and and you know and and not perform to a, to the best of our abilities because we're in a, a a different environment. So that's another big lesson for us. And so moving on from that first quarter of the season up to the Brentwood game, what's this second quarter of the season that we're just coming out of? So this after the Brentwood game, we've we've had some tough fixtures. Um, you know, we've had to play Eaton Manor, um, who who came over to us here. Uh, and really, really put us under the cosh and the boys dug deep uh, to, to clinch a 19-15 win. Uh, we had Sudbury, who are the league leaders at the moment, come up to us again, uh, you know, and, and lead for, for the whole game by the last minute where we were able to um, snatch, a, snatch a draw. So those, those kind of games uh, this time of the year when the weather's changed uh, are really important to, to stay in the fight. And I think... You know, one thing we have developed as a squad is a real cohesion and, a, and there's a real desire to win. Um, there's a real desire to, to work hard for each other, work hard for the club. Um, and in response, the, the, the club, the support has been fantastic. Like the, the amount of people that are coming out, uh, you know, again, even at this time of the year when it's wet and cold and windy to, to support the boys is, is fantastic. So there's this lovely relationship starting. To, to build between the players and, and the supporters, which is really important because it, it's the 16th man. It, it definitely helps. And, and I think the highlight for me was the, the Sudbury game where we, we had a, a massive chant going uh, at the end of the game. We, we won a tight head scrum uh, that you wouldn't see coming. Uh, and off that, we won a penalty and we get a score in the corner and it's, it's all of a sudden it's a 13-all draw. Um, so those kind of things are, are, are really, really positive for us. And so now looking forward to this second half of the season, how important are all those things that you just talked about going to be going forward? Yeah, it's going to be massive. This this so this weekend is the is the halfway mark. Um, again, we've got a couple of teams to play now before Christmas that are sitting bottom of the league. Um, so that message about respecting the opposition and being humble is really really important here because we want to we want to play as as well as possible uh, and get as many points as possible before Christmas um, and then post Christmas we've got some massive games we've got to go away to Harpenden who are sitting fourth or fifth in the league at the moment uh, we've got to go away to Eaton Manor who are sit sitting third we've got to go away to Sudbury um, so we've got some massive games um, away from home and again that message about you know being in the right mindset to travel and play your best possible rugby in whichever whatever the environment is uh, is, is another key thing that we've got to build on. So hopefully, again, like I said, that Brentwood game, they were the two key messages. So hopefully we, we've been going to have those in our heads all the time for the back end of the season. It's going to be a real, real struggle because the boys are going to have to keep fronting up week in, week out. You can't, you can't drop a game that's very tight at the top. There's five teams um, in the mix for the top three spots. Uh, so we need to be on every week. And that, that takes, takes a lot of mental and emotional energy.